welcome back to Safety Lead, the channel dedicated to helping you sell safety to your people. I got a great story for you today. A um, good friend of mine came back from work last week. He was he was working the night shift at a factory close by. Uh, got home about 7:30 in the morning. The dew was still on the grass. He knew that he had to get it mowed because he was working for three or four more days, and uh, he just he knew it was time to do it. And so he went and got his lawnmower and he started at her. And uh, he had a little bit of a hill on his property, and uh, when he was when he was rolling down the hill with the lawnmower, his footing slipped and his feet ended up underneath the lawnmower. As he laid there, he remembered. He remembered the lesson that he heard at his safety meeting about wearing his steel toe boots. He remembered, they said that 90% of people know somebody who has been injured mowing their lawn because your lawnmower is one of the most dangerous tools you have in your family in your house, in your world. He remembered this and he felt this amazing feeling of relief because as he looked down, the last thing he did before he started that lawnmower was put on his boots. It saved his feet. So there's a reason I tell you that story is because number one, it's impactful, it matters. Number two, um, I really think it's important that people wear their safety boots when they're mowing their lawn. I know it's a crazy idea, but I know people don't want to do it. A lot of people are wearing their flips and a pair of shorts and, and maybe a beer in their hand and they're walking along and they're enjoying it. But the reality is it's a tool that can hurt you. So I really hope that you wear your steel toe boots. But even more than that, I want to talk about storytelling. You see, when you're starting a meeting or when you're doing a presentation or even when you're meeting people and you're talking to people for the first time and you're making that first, that first impact, that first impression on these friendships, one of the things that you need to be able to do is convey stories that tell people who you are. So today what I want to do is to give you six tips to great storytelling. So tip number one, your story has to be universal. So what this means is that you can't, if you tell a story that your audience can't relate to, they're not going to be interested. The reason I can tell you a story about mowing the lawn is simply because it's something that most of us do. That's why it's a universal story and that's why it works. Number two, there needs to be a clear purpose for your story. So there has to be a moral of some sort, or you know, if it's a comedic story, there's got to be a punchline. And uh, and you can you can see this with with great comedians. You you're waiting for the punchline. You're waiting for the story. You're waiting for the moral. And people will love the story you're telling as long as you have a reason to be telling it. So there has to be a clear moral or purpose to tell this story. Number three, within the story, you want to try to find common ground so that you're likable. If you're telling a story about yourself or if the protagonist of the story is somebody else, you want to make sure that you give your audience a reason to like this person. Whether it's a common battle that they've been through or a common, a common ground in terms of something that they've experienced or people that they've known or industries that they've worked in or sports that they've played or teams that they like, it doesn't matter. Find common ground. Number four, your story needs to, absolutely has to appeal to one of the base emotions. If you think about it, love and fear are your two base emotions and everything else comes from there. So when you tell a story about almost cutting your feet off, there's fear there. And there's love in that moment that you knew you followed the rules so that you didn't, so that this person didn't cut their feet off. There's that relief and it comes from a love of just humanity, but also knowing it's just a base emotion. You don't want that to happen to anybody. Number five, a key variable to each story is a surprise ending. You'll notice that at the end of my story, you had no idea that the work boots were there because they weren't even mentioned yet. You wanna make sure that you keep people on edge a little bit and that's part of your punchline. That's part of your conclusion, is that surprise aspect to it. Number six, every great story is simple enough to remember, which makes it easy enough to repeat. This affects your safety meetings, it affects production meetings, it affects everything else. If you're having meetings with your leaders and you're sending them out in the field and you give them a great story that they can repeat, they will, because they're trying to convey the same message. So that's it for me today. Please don't forget to like, send comments, and follow. Looking forward to hearing from you, and I can't wait to see you again. Thanks.